Before I get started in this video, I'd like to give a great big shout out to Gareth Hollins. Um, his channel on YouTube, check him out. If I can remember, I'll put a link in the description. He's also got several, several uh, moto tutorials where he's modeling an X-Wing. And um, if you all enjoy moto tutorials, I believe you'll enjoy his um, tutorials a whole lot. Now, his are t his tutorials assume a little prior knowledge, but they are wonderful tutorials, and I recommend everybody going and checking out his channel and, and if you're into moto or anything for that matter because he's got great videos. So let's move on with our video. So thank you, Gareth. Great shout out to you. You're doing a great job. Keep it up, man. So this video, we're going to go over my UI. People ask me all the time, your UI, let's see your UI. This is my permanent final UI setup here. As you can see, I have my item list, my shader tree, my color picker, and my channels on the left. I have my tools and my sculpt tools with the properties and my weight tool, my edge weight tool, and all that good stuff here. My info and statistics and tool pop and map list here. And over here I keep my properties for my camera and my environment. I also have a graph editor. Okay, an event log that tells me everything that's been going on. Another viewport so I can get in close and see a little bit closer what I'm doing. And I have a preview so I can see what's going on when I work. Okay, that's my setup and this here is I kept the same I like the stock setup in the middle window there sometimes I might split this window and put another view over here beside it but not all the time so let's how do you go about customizing your UI well first of all you can always go up to these little triangles right here there's a little triangle here here's a little triangle here if you click it you'll get these all kinds of options and you can change that pane to any one of these and you'll just have to uh, experiment and see which ones you like the best just click on this little arrow. Some of them ain't got a little arrow. They got this little, little bitty thing in the corner here. You can barely see it, but if you right click on it, you'll get it, and you can change that one. Okay, and you can change all these. Um, you can also click on this little indention here, right click on it, and you can detach it, you can delete it, okay? And you can split it up and down or side to side. Okay, so let's demonstrate this. Let me go up to layout, windows, um, now, these palettes will go over in a different um, menu, or video menu, a different video. Just know that it brings up your curve palettes and stuff, okay? Which is something you don't really have over here. You do, but it just, it just compacts things really nicely. Your little palettes and um, puts them into floating windows. Uh, a toolbar here okay but that's not why we're here let's go to windows new window or you can go tab 3d if you go new window you're gonna get this blank window okay if you go windows tab 3d you're gonna get a new window with your three tab your three tabs you know your model quad your single and we'll start here okay so now we got our basic window here all you got to do is this little indention, control click and drag which way you want to split. If you want to split it to the right, you click and drag to the right with the control key. Up and down, you split it up and down. So I'll click and drag right. You can see that splits it into two. I can right click on these tabs and change them to anything I want. It's really up to, to you where you want them. Okay, I can change it into a preview window if I want. I can control click and drag down. It'll split it again. I can go over here to my little arrow and put up item properties. You see? Now, you can do this as many times as you want. Now, as you can see, this tab 3D is separate from this. Now we have two here, but the tab 3D is the same. If I want to split the tab 3D, I split it, and now I have that. I have two. Okay? And you can change each one of these into a different view if you want. You can say left front or right and we'll say front top now you can see we have all four views and of course this is just an example okay and if I wanted to I could split again or detach it and have it a separate window altogether so let's change this down here Moto tools. Now we have our moto tools. Uh, 
Okay. Now we have our tabs. We have another view over here. We have our moto tools here. And if I wanted to, I can even split this. I can change this to... Let's go to viewport settings. Let's go down and say... Sculpt and paint. Now we have our sculpt and paint nodes. Now let's split this one up and down like this. And we can change this to our edge weights and all that good stuff. So as you can see, I'm beginning to slowly lay out my custom UI. And that's how you do it. By using these little dots here, right clicking to get your options, or control clicking the direction you want to split the viewport. I can I control click down now I have two as you can see. This up here also, and you can split these. As you can see, I'm splitting the heck out of these things. You can have as many tabs as you want. The Moto interface is completely and utterly customizable. Now, as you can see, how many panels I got going on here. Now, if I finally get the setup that I want, go to render, or, I mean layout, save as, and give it a name. And it will save it as a custom layout. As you can see, I have two, my preview layout and my advanced layout, which is this right here. This is my advanced layout. So again, I have the normal middle window, my item list, my shader tree, my color picker, my channels. Here's my preview, which I like to keep open. Um, or another model view, which I have here. Or a graph editor, my properties, and my event log. Okay. Most of the time, I'll just um, keep my preview open or my properties open. So this is how you go about getting your custom UI set up how you want it. And once you get into it, you'll realize Moto is su supremely customizable. If you're wondering what the heck this is, I'm just going through the Digital Tutors cartoon character model. And it's going to end up being this guy. So if you're wondering what that funky looking head is there. So anyways, this is my custom setup. I hope you enjoy it. I look forward to seeing your all setups. And we'll see you next time.